From beautiful downtown, North Manchester, Indiana, from the firehouse, it's Good Night with Christopher Blue. Now here's your host, Christopher Blue! Hello and welcome to Good Night with Christopher Blue! I'm Christopher Blue, and we have a wonderful show for you tonight. Tonight, we have another musical guest. I love having musical guests. Let's get him out here, Zachary Moreno. (laughs) Zach, Zachary, Zachary Moreno. That was a mic bump. Okay, um, so as people saw on on your your name there, um, you took out all your vowels. Almost all of them. Almost all of them. (laughs) What's that about? Uh, Honestly, that's a funny story. Uh, Back in MySpace days, uh, a girl that I was dating made some post or whatever, and she on her page and made my name like that, and I thought that was, that it looks cool, so... All right. Decided to use it. That's cool. And that, that's already off script. We, we had pre-approved <laughs> questions, and uh, I'm known to go off script and that's okay. already at the start. Uh, so let's, let's get into this. Uh, uh, is it okay if I call you Zach, or do you prefer Zachary Moreno, the whole thing? You can call me Zach. I'll call you Zach. <laughs> Zach, um, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, I was born in Warsaw, still live there. Um, just been doing music my whole life. Even as a small child, I was playing with pianos and stuff like that. Um, yeah, that's a pretty simple guy. Yeah, <laughs> pretty simple guy. Uh, well, I mean, now I have to ask, like, you got a bunch of tattoos. <laughs> you are inked up to the max. Um, what's what's the story behind all that? Um, I got my first tattoo when I was in the military, um, when I was out in Maryland. And... I just got addicted to it, I guess. Yeah. Obviously. <laughs> well, it looked great on you. Thank not, you. Not a lot of people can uh, pull off the face tattoos, but <laughs> I, I, I definitely think you do. I appreciate that. Uh, so you're a musician. Um, uh, when you when you write music, uh, wh- where do you get most of your inspiration? Um, most of the music I get just from any song that I've heard before is just kind of a combination of all the different patterns and all that kind of stuff and then lyrically I just try and be poetic and not say something too blandly I guess yeah so. okay so you, you like to uh, reach deep and, and, and like you said be poetic like it makes me think of like the dead poet society when mm. when uh, Robin Williams is saying no you, you don't say something was really Yes. This you you make grand statements yes. with what you're trying to say. Yes, I like that. Um, and so, uh, what led you into pursuing music? Um, so I've always, like I said, I've always played instruments and um, got into it with writing when I was in high school. But recently, releasing all the music that I've done now uh, back in. 2021, uh, I decided to get help because I was attempting suicide with drinking. Um, And so January 9th of 2021 is when I got help. And uh, my friend at the time had bought me a microphone and was like, just start recording. Like, do it on your own. Start writing. It'll, It'll be good for you. And I did. And now I have, it's like over 250 songs released and wow yeah wow that's an awesome story and uh i i should say um if if anyone out there is struggling um thinks like uh they might need some help uh we'll, we'll go ahead and put the suicide hotline in our description um please call that number if you feel like you need help suicide is never worth it so um well you you Moving on uh, from from that serious subject, not not one to take away from it at all. But uh, uh, you you have an album that that you released the first of this month, first of December. Hoink wink. 
Um, definitely not October right now. <laughs> um, but, but you have an album that you just released here in yes. first December. Um, tell us about it. What's, what's the title? What's, um, what's I, it about? I uh, basically, it's a Christmas album. Um, so I took like um, a bunch of Christmas songs that I liked the music to and studied the chord progressions and all of that and um, just wrote my own Christmas songs so they sound Christmassy, I guess. Okay. Um, but it's kind of like a anti-Christmas album, I guess. So just an, like a different take on your traditional values and stuff like that um, that come with Christmas. So, yeah. Okay, interesting. Um, I'm, I'm excited to hear it. The, uh, the link to that album and, and all your other albums will be in the description. So uh, definitely check those out. Um, so you're about to perform a song for us. Um, uh, Dana Kill Depression, correct? Yep. Haha, yep. my notes. Look at that. <laughs> uh, Dana Kill Depression. Um, so what's the story behind that song? Um, so that song is about depression, but, um, the Danakil depression is actually, um, a place in Ethiopia that's hottest place on earth. Um, the, there's like sulfur pools and wow. stuff like that. It's like pretty much in, in ha uninhabitable. Yeah. Okay. Um, and, uh, so the song is basically talking about how. You kind of like put on a face to make everybody else feel more comfortable and you know just so that you can function in society but deep down you're it's just a void that you're being sucked into almost and so the song's written so that it's hard to like find a breath to take to kind of symbolize that um suffocating feeling i guess yeah what would you say is is like your favorite lyric of that song? Like, what what what's the lyric that speaks to you the most when when you're performing that song? Um, the line is uh, my favorite line is. Let's see if I can do this without singing it. But the line is, uh, "I'm selfish and I'm helpless, and all I want is sympathy. But what I need is dopamine and some serendipity, which is basically being like, I am just this hot mess that." I just want people to feel bad for me, but really what I need to feel better is dopamine and a better out outlook, I guess. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, I love that, and I, I hope we can have you back on the show some other time, but we need to get you set up to perform this song. So, future Chris, take it away. One eternity later. Now enjoy Zachary Moreno performing Dana Kill Depression. suit from all of the abuse every stitch undone and soaked in blood burn me after use find a better wardrobe but i'm tired of the lack of space i'd rather die new than misconstrued as one who can't break a face i'm an acrobat spinning to confuse the audience plummeting in ulcer absolutes and at the end so light the ring of fire with no intent to clear the she burn until it's my turn to try and save some face Rinse, repeat, recycle till the moment finally finds a place And tuck away and rearrange the contents of my brain Quite alright. Manifest some stitches, but I forget to pull the seam tight. Anchored to an anguish that locks itself away at night. Clawing at the walls and hold the door behind my eyes. I'm selfish and I'm helpless and all I want is sympathy. But what I need is dopamine and some serendipity. Drowning in the lake and I at least just breathe some liquor in. Numbing age is shaped in drops. 
Drops of ice and lime is burst in jet Not even filled with cracks It only takes some more protecting me This empty room will fill with doom And pressure to infect my sleep Time from early on, born for death and shallow breaths, attempt to sing assuring songs. Captain of a ship that will rarely ever leave the shore. Terrified to sail and find exactly what I'm looking for. An ocean with the growth that's made to swallow motivated souls. Nullify endeavors to patch the holes inside the hole. Empty out my insides and clean the parts I need to keep. Whatever made the wires rot and disconnect will ruin sleep I string myself so I can rest between the spaces in the sand Holding on to keep you happy is putting blisters in my head description down below. Thank you guys so much for like, comment, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget to ring that bell so we get notified whenever we upload new content. Until next time, good night, my sweet baby angels. I'll see you tomorrow.